It's one thing to be depressed and you, you, you still think, oh, it's because I had the baby. But then to somebody to tell you, no, you have bipolar, it was quite, was hard. At home, um, it can be scary for my children. There was times where I have been really, it, it's scary to the point where I have to be removed from the situation. My husband said, you just gotta go. And I got upset that he was telling me to leave. And I went, um, sat in my car and cried for an hour and I came home and he said to me, do you feel better? Thing is with my husband is he doesn't, he's not me, he doesn't know how it feels. Like I don't wanna do that in front of my kids. So it, it's hard. And then I, I pay for it afterwards because I, that one instant can make everything the next day is terrible and the day after that's even more terrible and it can last a week, it can last two weeks, it can last two months. It can just be one, one little thing that sets you off that just you can't control. And that's the worst part. There's been so many instances where I sit there and I think, I can't believe you did that. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you screamed in the middle of that store to that person. There was a situation where they lost my luggage and we, we got into it to the point where I was hollering. A gentleman went up to my husband and said, listen, you need to control her or we're going to have to handcuff her and take her out. I couldn't stop and I was shaking and I was just so upset. Now you can imagine the rest of the trip I don't even remember because it just becomes a blur. In retrospect, it's always in retrospect that you realize that you can't act that way, but you can't help it. But they don't know that. And that's what I'm ashamed of because I can't, I can't control it. How did I get here? How did, I, how did it get to a point where I can't control myself. My kids don't understand what bipolar is. They always say, mommy, are you in a mood? That's how they see it. I think they've realized I'm not as erratic. I'm lucky that I have medication that seems to be helping me. My oldest son, who's 14, he, he's starting to get it. He's just beautiful in his little heart. He's at that age now where I can actually talk to him. He understands that there's some days that mommy is gonna be sad and then some days she's not. But it doesn't matter, every day I'm still mom. The best thing I do is being a mother. I'm a functioning bipolar person. I do it, and I try to do it, hurting the least amount of people you can in a day, you know, including myself.